Okay. Come in here. Come in and we'll place... Yeah, come in. We'll place the block. Place! No! No! Dear viewer, welcome back to the all I never did single player world, a place where we relax and learn how to become better Minecrafters. Hello Fielis, we are at the mountain cabin that we worked on, or that we built last time, and I've been doing some more interior design. To make it feel a bit more homey here. Two of these uh, kind of work stations. And I put uh, Fjellis Berry station here. <laughs> it still seems kind of scared of me. I don't know why. Oh, watch your head. <laughs> Have some berries. What else did I do? Some paintings. Um, made a, a bookshelves here. This loom block kind of looks like a, an empty bookshelf. I saw this somewhere, maybe on Reddit. I tried two different solutions for the greenery. <laughs> a cauldron and this new composter block. This isn't too bad actually. This kind of looks like the soil is a bit... How do you say that in English? Möglig is the Swedish word. <laughs> this place might need some finishing touches, but... Uh, yeah, looking cozy, I think. I've been kind of scared that uh, Fjellis would uh, sneak out here when I go out. So I put the pressure plate here, so the door would close um, fast. And when I go back, I can stand in the way, so nothing can pass me before the door closes. I also moved the animals over here. They have a pen of their, their own now, because I think if Fjellis do get out, he will be killed kind of instantly by the polar bears. And the llamas would help too, I think, with their spitting. I changed up the porch area here a bit. We had stairs going up. Uh, three different stairs. Now it's just the porch. Um, except for this part where the stairs are. I think that looks better. Out here we store the ice. Regular ice here and the packed ice. Here. Actually, maybe let's do a harvest here. I haven't done this in a long time. And see if the boat elevator still works. This is uh, that old school uh, ice farm that uh, Susuma Void showed off. It was a long time ago now. But, you know, I like it old school. So you harvest all these platforms. This is such a nice feeling. <laughs> All right, that's it. Let's see if this works now. Oh, of course. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, can we get him from there? I think we got him. So you run over this pressure plate, get into the boat and up we go. No? Ah, there we go. What happened to the boat? <laughs> hey, come back to me. Okay, let's go forward. There we go. And bloop. 
and the boat goes back down. Perfect, still works. So we could use a crafting table here actually, that would be the most practical thing. Let's put off some of this ice. Put a crafting table here, maybe? How does that look? Not great, but we'll put it here for now. And let's make packed ice. Should we make some of them into blue ice? Yes, I think so. But now I want to go back to the spawn area. We have some pressing matters to deal with there. <laughs> I almost got used to the glitchy rendering with the first 1.14 update. You know, you saw the item frames first and then everything loaded in in a really glitchy way. This kind of feels smooth and uh, unfamiliar. <laughs> but Krifs and Krafs has escaped again. It's those leaves back at their pen, I tell ya. It's out of control. So I think we might need to take it all down because uh, it is a hassle. But I managed to trap them in here for now. Actually, if you tame ocelots, they won't turn into cats anymore. They will just, you know, be less afraid of me. I think we should try that right away. It should give off the same, please stand still, the same kind of particles. Oh, hearts. Hearts. Okay, they both have hearts now. Can I breed them? I don't think I can. No. But now they should be more relaxed around me. Certainly doesn't feel that way though. <laughs> okay, let's give him some time. Oh! There is a baby! Oh, that's so cute! We made a baby! <laughs> it's kind of like I am one of the parents. <laughs> oh, I hope it won't be... It won't suffocate in there. Please don't run in my way. I will hurt you. Here, have some fishes. And back at Krifs and Krafs' uh, pen, things are out of control. <laughs> ah, no one is keeping the chickens here, here in check. Chickens in check good uh, song title. So we need to move Bone Jelly to his own pen and then bring Krifs and Krafs back to their own pen and restore the order here. But where should we put Bone Jelly? Some place a little out of the way but where we still can see him. This could be a spot. We could also have him higher up, like on that mountain ridge, maybe. But then it will be a bit harder to actually see him. Hmm. Did the baby die? Krifs and Krafs, okay. Baby died. That's too sad. Now at least we can put the bench back. <laughs> so I'm trying something out here. It's the, the new sandstone uh, wall blocks. Uh, try to combine it with acacia fences. Um, I think this could be something. Let me work on it a bit more. Oh! 
We have a visitor. <laughs> Did he spawn inside of the pen? <laughs> uh, okay, let's see what you've got. Well, nothing much of interest, sadly. But you, you can hang out here, man. Yeah, what do you think? It's uh, simple, but this is not something you see every day. And we can go through, when you have a stone wall and a wooden fence like this, we can go through. But bone jelly cannot. I hope, at least. So, yeah, let's uh, see if we can move him. Please don't kill me. Oh, and all the chickens will be free as well. <laughs> all right. Okay, one more fence. Oh! He hit hard. Yeah, if you're in the way, you will get killed. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Get out of the way. <laughs> Come on, there we go. I think he's free now. What? <laughs> he's stuck over there. Maybe on the bamboo, actually. Let's see if we can take that away. I don't want to hurt bone jelly, though. Even though I don't think... Come on. Yes. Ah, <laughs> oh, It's so chaotic. Come on. Come and get me. There we go, he's out. Okay, hopefully my plan works. Or I might be a dead man. I definitely has some problem getting out of the water. Or out of the... <laughs> the ocean of chickens. There we go, he's up, he's up. Yes, follow me, stop dancing. Come on, don't get stuck again. And whoa! let's go in here. No, this way, this way. Come on. There we go. Come in here. <sighs> yes. Oh. No. No, don't destroy my tree. Yes. Almost there. Maybe it can't fit through there. Can you come in here? Yes, yes, here. He might be too big, actually. Yes, we got him. Now, let's try to be clever. Oh, he got out. Dang it. Don't give up. You can do it. <laughs> Good, stay, stay. Okay, maybe the only way is to get him inside with me and then... I need to eat as well. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> okay. Come in here. Come in and we'll place... Yeah, come in. We'll place the block. Place! No! No! <laughs> ah! Can we get our blocks back? Some of them. 
bone jelly is smart. You won't go into the pen. Let's try this one more time, or we'll change tactics. Come on. And... Yes. Come in here. Oh, yes. I think we got him. We got him. Whew. All right. Let's put the fences back here. And maybe we can remove these blocks. So that there will be no climbing. We'll keep... Um, I want this for myself to climb up, but we can take that away. Yeah, let's see if that helps. And the chicken dies automatically there, that's not too bad. <laughs> and... Let's put Kriefs and Krafts on the lead. And let them clean up here. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> oh, what a chaotic episode. Okay, got him. Um, Alright, let's open up this pen. We'll go back to the pen now. There's plenty more chicken here. Great. And down we go. <laughs> oh, what a battlefield. Just feathers, meat and eggs everywhere. <laughs> ah, I'm not done quite yet. I think order is restored in the spawn area. It's nice and quiet again. With the exception of these cows, maybe. <laughs> um, I did continue to feed Kriffs and Krafts um, fish, and they seem to like me now. They don't run away anymore in that crazy fashion. Even if I don't hold the fish, you see, they come they come to me. They don't run away anyway. So that's nice. More relaxing this way. And we got another baby. I thought, why not? Because the risk of them escaping this pen is uh, great. <laughs> uh, I don't seem to get the vines in check here. I want to keep them because they help uh, this place look a little more like a jungle. Um, but however I do, they seem to find a way to climb up here. I have fences here now, so uh, they haven't escaped in at least half an hour. <laughs> yes, Kriefs and Krafts and Krefs. And Bone Jelly's uh, pen still needs something. I think maybe a roof would uh, make the pen look better and will also protect from lightning. But there is one more thing I want to do related to our different animal pens, and that is to get another Slemis for outside of our house. So let's bring back a lot of them, because they <laughs> they like to commit suicide on the way. And we have a back door here. Okay, watch your step. Only one slime made it through the cave. The other two got stuck in different locations. So I guess you are the new Slemis.
All right. So this is Slemis, number one. I accidentally killed him when he jumped into a boat. Slemis number two mysteriously disappeared. And you will be Slemis number three. Welcome. So I think for the last part of this episode, we'll just hang out in the village for a while. Relax, getting to know the guys, you know. <laughs> Maybe build a wall to protect from pillagers. There they are. They are still unemployed. Uh, we can take that crazy con door contraption down. Uh, I'm gonna make sure there are workstations and beds in all the houses. And uh, yeah, hopefully all the chaos is is finished for this episode and we can just relax and enjoy. Okay, you won't believe this. Um, I've just been here placing beds and some workstations. Um, this might be the first original villager here that actually, you know, got the profession from a workstation. Look, look at this trade. It's a mending book. <laughs> right off the bat. Ooh, I'm so happy. It's the next day now. I stayed up way too late <laughs> last night just playing around here and it has been a lot of fun reminds me of the early days of minecraft when i just keep on playing and didn't realize how much time i spent on it let's see if we have reparatörn meaning the repair guy <laughs> kind of it seems like you can't put them in a boat or a minecart um, because then he won't refresh his uh, trades. He needs to be walking around and getting to his uh, workstation. Uh, I accidentally hurt some villagers. Um, they got stuck in boats and I tried to free them and, and I hurt, hurt some of them. I even killed one guy. So I have worse prices now, but <laughs> at least he's still alive. And I'm a little nervous he will walk astray, but... I'll keep an eye on him. And I haven't done much building at all, actually. Uh, I was thinking of building a wall, as I said. But I think these fences will do fine, because most of the village has water around it anyway. So this, uh, this will keep the villages safe from ground and patrols, I think. So here, for instance, is the butcher. I have a chest here. We can do some trading, actually. If I can catch him. So, the interface is much easier to use now. You click on the trade you want to make and then you can shift-click on the emeralds. So Then they do all the trades at once. And then you click again and continue doing this. So, a much smoother experience. And the most surprising to me is the stonemason. Look at these traits. You can get brick from emeralds, 10 brick. This is such a great improvement. And you can sell him a stone. How great is that? We get blue terracotta and the big surprise for me, you can buy quartz blocks. I knew about the pillars, but not the, the quartz block itself. So, yeah, success! And if we want to build that wall, I will probably do it um, somewhere in the future. It will be up here, I think. This is the most uh, vulnerable point of the village. If the raids come in from this way, we are pretty much doomed. <laughs> so, a big wall here would be ideal. I've gone back and forth a couple of times with our trusty llama boat. And this is, I think, the first time in 
the game that I've really missed having chalker boxes. <laughs> it's so many items we need from the spawn area to trade with the villagers. So I guess it's that time. I've said it before, but we need to jump into the end soon. I wrote a bit in our Things We Have Learned book, uh, because we have forgotten to do that in a while. So this was the last entry of the book, uh, that Ocean Monument episode. So then in episode 25, which was our big 1.14 exploration episode, we conquered a pillager outpost, you could say. <laughs> we got in to and got, got up to the top at least, so I, I, I would say we conquered it. Then in episode 27, the last uh, episode, it started out with the raid here in the spawn area kind of just ended without any explanation. We still had a village and there were still uh, raid enemies left, so I don't know what happened, but I've, I've written it with a bit of a question mark here. Raids can end spontaneously without you being victorious or defeated. But that was in the first 1.14 version and that was a little buggy so I don't know if this is actually in the, the game but I thought it could be fun to have it in the book and in this episode we realized that you can now breed ocelots and you get the cute ocelot babies before the ocelots uh, transformed into cats when you tamed them right not anymore and I had to put this in the book as well, that you can trade for bricks and quartz blocks uh, from the stone mason. That is what that villager profession is called. So I hope you feel relaxed. At least the last part of this episode was relaxing. <laughs> Thank you for being with me in this episode of All I Never Did. And I hope to see you next time.